Hello, my name is Josh Atkinson, and you have once again stumbled upon my portrait painting YouTube channel. Um, so I'm continuing to push toward stylistic experimentation, getting a good likeness. Kanye, whoop, never get that right. Kanye West, Charles Manson, and I don't know, some referee dude who screams at people. Um, pushing brushstroke and, and, and expressiveness, but still getting a likeness. So, um, this is the painting we'll be looking at today. It's a portrait of my friend Mike. I wanted more than anything to convey madness, and I think he gave me a source photo that really communicated that. So without further ado, here's the time lapse of how I made this painting. So this is the source image of my friend Mike. Crazy. Here's their time lapse. As always, I'm going to start with my half understanding of the Andrew Loomis circle. Um, his head is tilted kind of down, but the angle of the lens he took the photo from sort of counterbalanced that, and so so I ended up putting his eyes right in the basically the middle of the circle. He's lit from below. I said this in my last video um, that I put on my social media that I was looking for maybe five people who um, wanted a free oil painting in this very stark, dark, kind of emotional uh, style. Um, and 11 people said yes, so he's the second person whose uh, painting I'm, I'm doing. And um, so anyway, uh, it's, it's I, I love the way it turned out. I, I found so much color and I, I pushed color like I'm leaving these passages of blue in his nose. You'll see later that his beard takes on almost neon looking shades of green. Um, uh, Mike is an actor and so he's uh, in touch with his emotionality and the expressiveness of his um, instrument in acting terms, you know, his, his body, his soul. So uh, this like maniacal laughter was was a really um it felt sincere and mike is a lunatic so i'm, I'm sure it was uh, i don't know if he had to dig too deep but anyway you can see i'm uh, going crazy with the color i see green in people's eyebrows a lot i think my eyebrows are secretly green now i'm throwing it down on his mustache um but there's all this like like lummy magenta in the shadow tones i've said before i don't really work with black um, and now I, like, especially have no interest in black because look at all the opportunity for style, you know, when you're, when you're, I don't know, when you're just looking for color, you can find it. And, uh, I'm feeling quite liberated from the paintings I was doing even a few months ago where I was very much, like, slavishly aiming for conventional realism, uh, and, 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 and getting it, generally, you know, um, but it just wasn't as satisfying. Since I've started painting in this style, I recognize that I don't, um, I don't approach painting with anxiety anywhere near as much as I used to. I'm making his teeth so yellow. But you see, this is, I love people who don't get offended by that. Like, this is art, you know? Like, I'm, I'm here to express something about myself and the sitter, and... You know, why does it have to be pretty? <laughs> you know, I think this is pretty. I think this is a gorgeous painting. But it's not, you know, it's not like a John Singer Sargent sort of style. But anyway, how can you, how can you not be excited by expression like this? So the purpler colors, you can see there, there's a few places where I'm adding my, my, fake black, a mixture of ultramarine blue and burnt umber, just uh, just in key places. This is also the first sitting. I, I, I think of myself as kind of a pseudo a la prima painter because I can't, I like to get it done in one day if possible, but it's hard to do it in one sitting. You know, if you've ever painted a la prima, you've probably found that, uh, I think a lot of a la prima painters talk about how they don't like to use very dark colors but the reality is you can't <laughs> you know unless you scrape the paint away you can't lay 
a, a very dark color into thick, lighter or medium colored paint. It just gets kind of blended out. And so I feel like there's this a la prima, uh, ooh, I'm, getting, I'm being a little judgmental, aren't I? But this kind of like acceptance or excuse, if you're working a la prima, to not have things be as dark as they occur in nature. And so anyway, you can see, like, I'm not able to get his hoodie, like, the highlights on his hoodie are blending into the dark, so it's not, it's, it's canceling out the actual shadows, the tones that are present. Same thing with his eyes, like, the eye of a pupil is, for all intents and purposes, black. So even on the darkest or lightest skin, there's an extreme of contrast on every human face because the pupil is basically black and the white of the eye is quite light but the highlight on the on the eye is is even lighter than that so i don't know i just see a lot of alla prima painters avoiding contrast and i don't understand why that's desirable <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me i'm obsessed with contrast in terms of value but also in terms of um color and this painting is just bananas for color i've got a lot of i said in the last video a lot of emotions i'm a very emotional person and uh and that's what i want to put across in my paintings i'm not really interested in politeness you know you can take a selfie if you want politeness if you want art don't you want something challenging confrontational so anyway that's the style that's emerging for me um i would really love to hear from people who watch this video about their own conflicts or aspirations about style because i have to say like giving up what i thought i was supposed to be painting like normal realism and painting in this style people are loving it mike loved this painting the woman i painted last week loved the painting so anyway this is the finished painting five by seven oil on a canvas board so yes this is how i arrived at this portrait of my friend mike um I'm, I'm really pleased with it, as always, excuse the glare, I haven't oiled out yet, but I found so much crazy color and just expressiveness, and, you know, when someone has a lot of emotion in their face, it's it makes sense to go emotional in your painting style. So, as I've been saying in my videos lately, um, I hope that if you take anything from watching these, that it's a little bit of encouragement to move in your own stylistic direction, whether it be close to this or not. Um, it's just much more satisfying. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions on what to paint next, please do leave them below. Otherwise, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you next Monday with another um, portrait. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.